Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another episode of Double Trouble. Uh, last episode we battled Moody Pones, and uh, we're back onto the battle spot now. Uh, yeah, really just, I like doing battle spot because it's so easy to find battles. Um, I mean, sometimes we do get those battles where, you know, our opponents clearly don't know what they're doing, but, um... For the most part, it's not that bad, and I do enjoy it. However, when I do get back from my vacation, I will hopefully be looking for battles more often. I'll hopefully have a new team, uh, and I just try things out. I know you guys probably prefer uh, me battling like other people, not just random battles on the internet. Um, so we're at like five, 1566. We just keep staying there. I, I don't know. I'm not laddering very well. Communication interrupted again. Uh, that's probably us again, which is unfortunate. I don't know if I even recorded that part. I don't remember, but, um, ugh, yeah. So, yeah, um, I'm running out of questions to ask for question of the day. I really don't know what to do for that anymore, uh, so leave, I don't know, leave your favorite TV show. I don't really like watching TV. Uh, it's usually there for background noise. Uh, but I do watch TV shows. I watch One Piece for the most part. Uh, oh, hey! Ooh, excuse me. Uh, that was... I don't understand the whole communication interrupted and then we find a battle. Doesn't make much sense to me. Uh, but it looks like we've got Gengar, Heatran, Thunderous, Sylveon, Breloom, and Manoswine. Um... Hmm... Now see, I want to start off with Aromatisse, but that Breloom does kind of scare me a little bit. And I'm trying to think. Uh, Camera would be very powerful for these Pokemon. Uh, it could pretty much take them out for the most part. Uh, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. I think Camera Aromatisse will be pretty powerful. I think so. I think so. I think so. Um, and then we're gonna need something for these other Pokemon. Now I'm thinking Crawdon's gonna be pretty useful, but how useful? You know, Tangrowth is hit one, two, three things pretty hard. Um, but it does have coverage for pretty much everything. Everything but the Thunderous. Um, I could bring Bisharp, but I think that that would be kind of obvious and kind of bad for me. Um, I'm gonna bring Crawdon. I think Crawdon is gonna be useful. It does hit everything pretty hard, and uh, it, it's a it's a debate between Tangrowth and Kofagrigus. Um, I want to say Kofagrigus. I think Kofagrigus is gonna be pretty useful, especially against that Breloom. Um, we can we can stop that Breloom pretty hard with Kofagrigus because it's immune to Spore. It has Psychic. And it's immune to its main stab, and it's a physical wall for the most part. So. We'll see. <laughs> we'll, we'll have to see. Um, he doesn't start off with uh, either of those two, so I'm actually pretty happy with my lead. Um, now, I I'm predicting, you know, a... A sludge bomb towards my aromatisse. I think that's a pretty safe guess. Uh, so, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to go for Heat Wave here. I'm going to just try really hard to see what we can do. Uh, I'm gonna go for Heat Wave, and we're gonna see, um, you know, what the Gengar does. I protect with the Aromatisse because I just wanna see if he decides to double attack me, uh, or if he decides to, uh, like, try and taunt me. Uh, I don't know if taunt- if it will show a Aroma Veil, uh, if he taunts me. He does. Okay, so, good. Um, and we get a Substitute up. Okay, so, that's not bad. He did go to taunt me, um, so, and he didn't see the Aroma Veil, so that means we're in a really solid position. Um, I'm gonna go for Heat Wave again, that will kill the Thunderous. Um, well, yeah, we did about 70%, he's not recovering that much. Okay, yeah, so uh, I'll go for Heat Wave once more, one more time with Feeling, and uh, I'll go for Trick Room here. So, um, I think he's gonna go for Taunt again, just to kind of ensure that the Aromatisse does not get off a Trick Room. Uh, but no one seems to really use Aromatisse, so no one really tends to know what it does, and I love that. That's why Aromatisse is definitely one of my favorite Trick Room setters. It's bulky. Uh, we know this Gengar is not choice spec. 
Vex because he went for a sub, so we will survive a, a Sludge Bomb. Uh, he goes for Heatran, not a big deal, because if this thing isn't Air Balloon, which it isn't, um, we should take it. Now, I know for a fact that we survived Sludge Bomb, max special attack from Gengar, so I'm not worried. Um, however, he does go for Protect, so again, I'm not worried at all. Um, you know, the Heatran is going to get a Flash Fire here. But does it really matter? No, it really doesn't. Uh, what we can do here is we can go for heat, uh, an Earth Power on the Heatran, and Heatran will go down to that. Uh, the question that remains is, is that what we really want to do? And, um, I don't know. Uh, I don't know because... Because he could switch out. But we have Trick Room on our side, so it's not a big deal if he switches out. Um, I'm expecting him to go for a Sludge Bomb onto the Aromatisse. So I'm going to switch out into Kofor Grigus because I can... Oh, I can't be switched out. Oh, okay. So there's not much I can really do. Um, I, I'm just going to go for Draining Kiss. We're going to get some damage off onto this Gengar. Damn, I hate that. I was like, oh yeah, I'm going to switch. I knew he was... He's, he was okay, okay. Um, there's not much I can do about that. That's it's it's not really gonna do very much uh, And he's gonna go for shadow balls, so maybe you don't have sludge bomb um, No, you're trying to get rid of the camera up and that was a crit. Of course. It was a crit uh, That's not good because that means we cannot take out this heatran um, Trying to think we have camera up in the back uh, No, we have <laughs> sorry crud on in the back. So the heatran's not a big threat right now. Uh, I think I could just go for Heat Wave, and it won't be that big of a deal, but we will be boosting the Heatran, so I don't really want to do that. Um, I'm just going to Earth Power the, uh, the Gengar, and, um, I'm going to Drain and Kiss the Heatran. There's a chance that it could have Focus Sash, um, and I just want to break it just in case. Um, but he actually goes for Protect there with the Heatran, so... It's actually a good turn for us. I went for the Earth Power on the Gengar because the Gengar does throw to my team a little bit more than the Heatran does. Because, like I said, I do have that uh, Crawdon in the back. Um, and Heatran can't one-shot my Aromatia. So he has leftovers. Okay, so that's good to know. So I can one-shot him with an Earth Power. Uh, so I'm not bit, I'm not too worried about that. Now he's probably gonna, He keeps protecting, so he do, he might not have folk, uh, Flash Cannon, which means he can't really touch us. Um, now he's probably going to go for a Mach Punch here. So I'm going to protect... With my camera up, and I'm gonna go for a draining kiss onto the Breloom. I want to get rid of that thing. Uh, he could go for a spore, that is possible, but I don't think he will be. Uh, I really do think he's gonna go for a mock punch to try and take us out, and he does. Okay, great. Um, so I think what I'll do there is, uh, unless he's, oh no, it doesn't matter if he's focus sash. Um, he goes for substitute again. I really don't care. Uh, I really, really don't care. It, I should care actually. Um, I think what I'll do, he went for Substitute because he kn knew he'd be able to get it off, and I want to keep Camera up alive, so I'm going to bring in Kofi Grigas to take the, um, the predicted Mach Punch, and I'm going to take out the Breloom. Hopefully. Hopefully. I, I don't want to lose my Camera up just yet. Um, and I, I could probably stall out the, the Heatran a little bit with um, Kofi Grigas. I think. I don't know. Uh, so Heatran goes for Protect. Again, really not a big deal. Uh, I'm not attacking you at all. Um... Breloom should go down. Breloom protects. Okay, so that's still really not a big deal. Um, I think we have one more turn left to Trick Room. So really, really not a big deal. Um, no, we don't. Okay, uh, so I think what's going to happen is he's probably going to try and spore the Aromatisse. So I'm going to go for Trick Room with my Kofor Grigus. And I'm going to protect with my Aromatisse because I don't want to lose it. Um, he might... Lava Plume, and he's at plus one with the fire, so that's probably going to take us out. No, okay, so he actually bullet seeds the Kofor Grigus, and that does a decent chunk. Oh, jeez. Oh, and, of course, another crit. Uh, we don't need those, but we're going to get them. And he goes for Magma Storm. I don't think Magma Storm will take us out, actually. be quite honest with you. I did not predict that, though. Damn it, it does. Okay, so that's not a big deal yet. Not a big deal yet. We still have a good chance. We still can do this. Um, I think. <laughs> I think. Um, no, because he can mock punch us. Oh, jeez. Okay. Um, I'll bring in camera up. I'll bring in camera up. And 
I'm gonna... Should I just go for freaking Heat Wave? I'm trying to think what my best play here is, because... Obviously, I'm a little weary of this Breloom and its Sporing powers. But his Mach Punch can probably take me out. I'm gonna protect, because I, I want to keep Camera up alive. And, uh, I'm gonna go for Trick Room. No. I'm gonna go for Draining Kiss instead. I'm gonna go for Draining Kiss instead. Uh, he's not protecting with these other two, because they would have gone first. Oh, man, he is, he is definitely predicting me. <laughs> Doing really well against me. I'm not happy about losing so far. Um, and he goes for Earth Power. That's fine. Not a big deal. Uh, we're fast asleep. That is a big deal. Um, and we're going to lose our camera. I probably should have gone into Karadon, but that would have baited a Mach Punch, and that's not entirely what I wanted to do. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to Earth Power here. Hope for the best. And I'm going to go for Trick Room, uh, simply because I don't think he can take me out with anything. Uh, he's going to go for Bullet Seed. Yeah, I don't think that's going to do too much. It doesn't seem to be doing too much. He's going to crit me, though. I can promise you that. Oh, no, I'm wrong. I might be wrong. I might be wrong. Oh, oh, we procced our Cetris Berry. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I, it's, it's, not, it's not good. Uh, he does go for Earth Power. That will take us out. Oh. Not good at all. Not good good at all. Aromatis, you gotta, you gotta wake up. You gotta wake up. Damn it. Okay. Um. Damn it. I could Aqua Jet the Breloom. I just don't think it's gonna be enough to take it out. It's not like the most frail. It's frail, but it's not super frail. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna go for Aqua Jet. I really don't have much of a choice, because if I don't go for Aqua Jet, I'd have to protect, and then he can easily figure that out. Um, actually, you know what? I think that's probably my best play right now. Protect. Stall out of turn, because he's probably not going to do anything. And, uh, what do I do? What do I do? I'm going to Draining Kiss, because I don't need to worry too much about the Heat Train, I don't think. I just need to take out the Breloom. I need to take out the Breloom. Okay, he does go for Mach Punch. And he goes for Earth Power. Okay, so he double attacked me. That was actually a good plan to, uh, to do that. Um, crap though. Uh, I'm gonna protect again. I, cause Aqua, if I, Aqua, he's faster with the Mach Punch. And Mach Punch will, Mach Punch will probably take me out. It's technician boosted. It's about 90 power. No, that's wrong. It's about, uh, what is it, about 60 power? Either way, it's still pretty powerful. Um, yeah, so I have to try for the double protect. And I have to try and kill the Breloom. That's, I think that's really my only option. No, it, it fails. Uh, but let's see, because maybe, you know, let's see how much the Mach Punch does. Oh, hmm. Oh, but he doesn't double target the Crawdons. <laughs> oh, was that a crit? Oh, <laughs> it mattered. It so mattered. Oh my god, we were so close to full there. Oh, okay, so that's annoying. Alright, well, I'm gonna go for Aqua Jet, <laughs> just in case. Uh, there's no way. That's ridiculous. Not a big deal, though. Not a big deal. It's just Battle Spot. I probably played that Heatran a little poorly, but uh, I, I do really do think that, that, that um, Gengar was a little bit more of a problem. A little bit more of a problem, and I couldn't really afford a Heat Wave miss. This is my opinion. Um, but yeah, so let's get let's get another battle going. Uh, we could always go for more. Uh, yep, yep. I know. Okay, yes, I want to continue battling. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. Uh, those crits definitely mattered. Camera can take a shadow ball pretty well, I think. Um, yeah, probably pretty well. Uh, so that it, it mattered because you know at the range I was at, I couldn't take a mock punch, but a normal range, uh, a shadow ball, I could take a mock punch. So I wasn't. It was just a bad position to be in. Um, yeah, Breloom's my natural uh, prey. I should I shouldn't be fearing it. <laughs> oh, I'm kidding. Um, oh, let's see. It looks like we got like a mini snow team, hail team. Uh, we got Rodent Frost, a bomb of snow, Garchomp, Kangaskhan, Gyarados, and uh, Heatran. Uh, I like, I do like Camera Up to Um, although Camera Up Kofor Grigas actually is probably a little bit better, so I'm gonna go for Camera Up Kofor Grigas. We're gonna throw Aromatis in the back because Aromatis will be, well, you know what, I don't think it will be that useful. 
Excuse me. Um, do I want Crudon or do I want Bisharp? That's, that's a question for the ages. Um, camera up or Crudon provides really no super effective against uh, except for Heatran. Um, Bisharp hits one, two, three things. Um, I think Crawdont. I like Crawdont. I like Crawdont. Um, and I don't want to bring Tangra, so I'm going to bring Aromatisse. Aromatisse is relatively decent. Alright, yeah, we're going to try that. We're going to try that. I, I, I don't really know. <laughs> I lost my swing after that battle. <laughs> I lost my swing. Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> we'll see what, um... She sends out. So it's gonna be a, a bomb of snow and some random ribbon thing. I don't know what the hell that was. Um, that was actually kind of cool. Uh, and Kangaskhan. So pff, I think I know what's gonna happen here. Um, I know what we're gonna want to do. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna mega evolve. We're gonna protect. So I see a fake out lizard coming, and I'm gonna go for Trick Room. Might be a bad play. Oh, he's not mega evolving with the Kangaskhan. Uh, are you mega evolving with the cat uh, with the Obama snow? No, you're not mega evolving with anything. Please tell me you fake out the camera up, please. No, god damn it! I'm not gonna like this Blizzard. Um, but we make it lose its ability, I guess. That's not a big deal. Um, yeah, we're not gonna want this Blizzard. We're not gonna like this at all. No. Oh, actually, that wasn't too bad. Um, that really wasn't that bad, I'll be quite honest with you. Um, and I don't think Blizzard's gonna do too- if, if Blizzard did that much to my Kofor Grigas, I really don't think it's gonna do too much to my camera up. Um, so I'm just gonna stay in and go for Trick Room again, and go for Heat Wave. Um, Kangaskhan does Mega- I did not see that coming, to be quite honest. I like the fact that you stayed off, because most of them- most of them really don't. Um, and he goes for Crunch! Oh, that's a stupid play. The reason why I say it's a stupid play is because, I mean, it will kill me, but you lose your ability. I, uh, you just, you don't attack Kofagrigus with an Omega that requires their ability. Um, it, it was still a good play because he takes me out and I'm going to have to take a full force uh, Blizzard, which is going to suck. Uh, I'll survive it, I think. Oh my god, I survive it. That wasn't even a question. What avoided? Oh, what avoided? Okay, it wasn't the Kangaskhan, so that's really not a big deal. Um... Not a huge big deal. I'm fine with that. <laughs> I am fine with that. Um, I could bring in Crawdon, but I'm a little afraid to. So I'm going to bring in Aromatisse. Aromatisse could probably take a hit. Probably. Maybe. Maybe. Um, so I'm going to protect here. I'm going to go for Trick Room. I kind of really have to. I don't really much have a choice. Um, I think that Obama Snow is uh, Focus Sash. Um, Blizzard won't take out my camera up, I don't think, from the range I'm at, because, uh, we had a little bit of hail damage, so I think it's like a 3-hit KO. Um, he does go for double edge. Oh, man, I am getting wrecked. That doesn't do too much, actually. I'll be quite honest, that really didn't do that much. I was expecting that to do a lot more. Um, he might go down, actually. Oh, no, because he's not gonna... That makes sense. He's not going to hit twice, because he's not parental bond anymore. Um, and we get the Trick Room off. Good. So I don't think he's suck. I don't think Sucker Punch. I don't think he has Sucker Punch, actually. Um, I think he might be, uh, just Crunch Variant. And, um, Heat Wave should take it out. Definitely, as long as we don't freaking miss. Uh, so let's just go for Heat Wave. We'll just hope the hell we don't miss. And I'm gonna Drain and Kiss the Obama Snow. Let's hope he doesn't have Sucker Punch. I don't know why you'd run Sucker Punch and Crunch. Um, but that double edge not hitting twice is actually really good. Um, although the Kings kind of would have been down, so I guess it's kind of like a it's a it's a twofold kind of thing. Um, let's see, we're probably Sash. We are Sash. It's good to know. I figured as much. That's why I double attacked it. Not that I really had a had a, had to worry about double attacking here because obviously you know the Kings kind of was going down if I didn't miss. Um, but that was the only it, that was the only spot where I had to, had to worry about missing. Um, I had to take out that Obama Snow. Because the Kangaskhan probably would have taken itself out. 
Um, but we'll see what he brings in next. I'm hoping it's the Garchomp so I can get some HP back from my Aromatisse. Really hope so. Um, probably go down, actually. Yep, it's the Garchomp. Um, actually, I could take out the Garchomp pretty easily. Yeah, I could take out the Garchomp pretty easily. I'm gonna go for... Well, no, I'm gonna go for Heat Wave because I wanna damage that Rotom to a point where I can, um, take it out with an Aqua Jet. And Aromatisse... Pfft. Aromatisse will get more HP back from this choice. Which means I could survive an earthquake and let my camera up to come, uh, my my crop, my camera up go down and my crop up come in, right? That makes sense. Although I might not even need Aqua Jet. We'll see. I think we have this turn left for Trick Room. I don't really know. Hopefully he doesn't protect, cause that would suck. He might not. I don't know. I don't like Rotom Fridge. It's the only Rotom form that I really don't like, uh, simply because of its typing. It's just such a bad typing. Uh, he doesn't protect with either of them. So I'm expecting Rotom to go down. It does. Uh, it doesn't do a lot to the Garchomp, though. Uh, I was expecting a little bit more. I know it's resisted, but I was expecting it just a tad bit more. Uh, but hopefully we'll get enough HP back here. Oh, wow! Did that, was that a crit? That was a crit. That was a crit. Uh, I didn't need the crit because I had Aqua Jet in the back. So I, I, I honestly did not need that crit. Uh, I was hoping he would take down my, my, my camera up. Uh, plus, I think we have one more turn left to Trick Room, so it wasn't that big of a deal, I don't think. I don't think so, because Garchomp's neutral to Aqua Jet, so it would have done a lot. And plus, if there was still Trick Room up, I had Knock Off, you know, so it's not a really big deal. Um, Alright, so that's that, that's that episode. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, leave a like, and I hope to see you guys at the next episode. Peace.